Hey everybody, HB Gibson here. Just wanted to let you know in advance that the quality of this video is not that great. I was trying to go live on Facebook and record at the same time, so apparently, as laptops do, as computers do, it was using up too much information and it looks a little glitchy frame rate wise. So if you can bear through this first episode, I promise you, the next episode will be much smoother. So until then, enjoy the ride. Hey everybody, welcome to an all new episode of Popcorn, Coffee, and Joysticks. I am your host, H.B. Gibson. First and foremost, I want to thank you, the worldwide YouTube audience, for checking out the channel, for watching this video. You could be watching any video on YouTube, but you decided to watch this one, and it is greatly appreciated. To all my dedicated subscribers, all of my dedicated viewers, who I affectionately call my Karateka Warriors, us. Glad to see you back. And if you're not one of my dedicated subscribers or viewers, here's what we like to do here in the Popcorn, Coffee, and Joysticks Dojo. We get into our fighting stance. Pace! Breathe. Focus. And dragon! That like button, hit subscribe, hit that bell icon, so that way you can get notifications of brand new content. Well, the day has finally arrived. The game has been out for pretty much uh, about a month or more. Night at the Gates of Hell. Yes, the video game that yours truly is lead voice actor. And uh, I'm, I'm humbled. I am humbled beyond measure at this opportunity. Big shout out to uh, Jordan King and Henry Hoare and Ben Cacuzzo. Torture Star Video, Puppet Combo. Thank you ever so much for... Uh, having me a part of your projects. I really, truly appreciate it. Uh, if, for those of you who don't know, if this is your first time watching me, I also had a role, a voiceover role, in Bloodwash as uh, Officer Burton. And I'll go into more detail about that as we go along. So, without further ado, here we go. Finally, this is part one, Night at the Gates of Hell. Wow, check out that graphic, y'all. Torture Star Video. Black Eyed Priest, a.k.a. Jordan King, and uh, his partner, Henry Hoare. Both of them make Torture Star Video. And this game has been published by Ben Cacuzzo of Puppet Combo. That's right. Puppet Combo has cornered the market for retro-style horror games, which brings back the 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 horror goodness of games like Resident Evil and and Silent Hill and I think I think there's a new Silent Hill game coming out coming out pretty soon. Yes. Um, what happened? How did I get this role? How did I get involved with Puppet Combo? How did all this happen? Well, ladies and gentlemen. One day when I came back from uh, from Atlanta, you know, things didn't work out over in Atlanta. Uh, me and my lady decided to move back up, up north. And uh, during that time while I was in Atlanta, I started to pursue voiceover. My lady bought this wonderful microphone. I went on ahead and bought all the rest of the stuff. And she and I always talked about, wouldn't it be cool to do voiceover for a video game that someone like Markiplier or Corey Kenshin or Jacksepticeye or Dashy, we loved watching Markiplier play scary games. It was so entertaining, and we were just we just wondered what would you know? Wouldn't it be cool if I was in a game that he played? Man, listen, all I gotta say is if you're obedient to God, God will hook you up. Uh, I sent him a uh, I sent a, a puppet combo a copy of a audio drama that I did called Morphin Combat. Not Combat in the Grid. Morphin Combat. 
it was an audio drama that I put together when I found out that I was cast for Combat in the Grid, which you can see on YouTube right now. I play the role of both Shang Tsung and Zordon. All right. Uh, you can see it's three episodes. Uh, big shout out to uh, Michael DPCX Patron and all the wonderful cast and crew, Brian Edits, uh, of Combat in the Grid. And then when I found out that I was cast for that, I put together a audio drama called Morphin Combat, which was, uh, you know, just based on the idea of, you know, Power Rangers and Mortal Kombat coming together and fighting. So I sent that to Puppet Combo. And then a couple months later, I got word from Black Eye Priest Games, a.k.a. Uh, Mr. Jordan King, and he offered me the role of Officer Burton in Bloodwash, which has been released last week on consoles, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, your boy is on consoles. Hallelujah. <laughs> hey, listen. Listen, I think you guys already know the story about what happened. I think you guys know already know the story. While I was over in Atlanta, I asked God, I said, listen, if by any reason that I ever wind up back in the north, uh, that I would use my streaming talents for my church. I do streaming for my church now, and they, uh, you know, I stream their, their, uh, their services on Facebook, Liberating Word Ministries. Hey, everybody. I know it's not exactly the most, this, this game ain't the most Christian, but <laughs> it's fun. Man. It's a fun game. <laughs> I take after Corey Kenshin. Yes, I, I do. So... <laughs> And one fine day, Blood Wash uh, was released uh, on PC and was played by people like Markiplier and uh, Corey Kenshin. And I was just really, really happy. Dream realized. And uh, it, it's, been, it's been downhill ever since then. And then after I did my work on Blood Wash, Jordan King came back to me and he reached out to me on Discord. And said, how would you like to have, we would like to offer you the lead role of David in Night at the Gates of Hell. This game right here that you're looking at right now is the game. It's surreal, guys. It is surreal. And I am just happy, humbled, and blessed by God to basically be in my own video game i mean I, i'm not it's not my game it's it's it's, it's jordan and, and henry's game but uh being the lead character in the game i mean the, the the person that you're seeing with the gun out in the front that's me so i play david in this game night at the gates of hell and whoo here we go <laughs> this is gonna be crazy I, I, wow this is gonna be wild man all right so before i go i want to say Say hello to Alex Blue, Sammy, and Jason Fadaruso. All right? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you got your headphones on because this is a scary, scary. Let's turn everything back up. Let's turn the sound back up. Let's turn the music up. Let's turn up the dialogue. Let's get it going on, ladies and gentlemen. We are playing Night at the Gates of Hell. Here we go. Ah, nothing like a night at the graveyard. Oh, okay. The first gate is opened. Let the feast begin. Just to let you know that that was not my voice. <laughs> Now, mind you, just to let everybody know that this game does contain language, it contains nudity, it contains uh, gore and all that stuff. So here we go. Uh, I bought my mouse yesterday because unfortunately this game, unlike, unlike Bloodwash on PC, you have to play this with a mouse. And uh, let me make sure that I'm comfortable here. No, I'm not. 
Here we go. Let's do this. Whoop. Where is she? She told me to meet her out here. Last time I let some bitch pick up the location. How could anyone get the mood out here? I don't know. <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna put this on pause for just a second. Let's get to the options and get to the sound. I wanna like, yeah, let's let's get the. I wanna get this up here. Let's get the music up a little bit more. Yeah, I, I wanna make some adjustments. There we go. And all right. So we're walking. And Liam is a character from uh, Bloodwash, believe it or not. I love how Jordan went on ahead and uh, intertwined the universe. Hold on a second. Move this microphone. Oh, move this microphone over a little bit, or maybe I should move the PC a little closer to me. There we go. All right, that's better. The one thing that I love about these games that's so fantastic is that um, Jordan and Henry and uh, Ben, they're all fans of uh, the, uh, the Giallo horror style games like, you know, Fulci and uh, who's the director, the director that directed um, Suspiria. They're big fans of that. And this game is full of I tell you, Giallo goodness. Wonder why the church is lit up like that. Weirdos must be having some kind of dumb service. Hey, service isn't dumb, all right? Jesus died for you, okay? <laughs> he did, he did though. So here we go. The jump scares in here are real, guys. Now, I did watch a few people play the game. And I had such a good time dropping in on Twitch players, introducing myself, and we just had such a wonderful time. The horror game community is just so wonderful and fun and enthusiastic, man. Oh! The crazy thing is, like, just like in Bloodwash, I know that the jump scares are coming, but you're never truly prepared for them. <laughs> wow, man. Haha, ha, I can't believe I scared you. No, you didn't. Don't be ridiculous. Of course you didn't scare me. Not even a little bit? Not even a little bit. After all, how can you expect a man such as myself to be afraid of someone like you, a woman? God, you have such a way with words. Come over here. Hold on, hold on a second, hold on a second. I need to, I need to do something about this sound because the dialogue is not coming in. It's not, there we go. We need the dialogue to come in and we need the music to be a little bit less. We need the special effects up a little bit. There we go, because I want it to be, I don't want things to like, you know, drown each other out. There we go. I hope you guys have on your headphones because it's about to get wicked. Hey, baby. Whoa. <laughs> I told y'all there was nudity in here. Of course, when I when I put this up on YouTube, I'm gonna to have to like cover that up. But whoa, are you serious? Where's the condom? Um, I don't know. Oh, uh, did you want me to use one? Nobody else has ever had a problem. Typical horror situation: a couple about to do the do in the middle of a graveyard. Ominous music. Do I look like a wannabe mother to you? No protection, no action. That's right, girl, you tell her. 
Okay, I think I have one in the car. I'll be right back. Is there anything I can get your highness while I'm gone? <laughs> you can get lost if you don't come back with a condom on your dinghy. Dinghy. That's what they call it. Okay. Hey! Got a little pickety basket! Hey! Hey, boo boo! Boo boo! Hey, boo boo! We got a pickety basket! Hey! <laughs> Uh, look out for the ranger! Ranger, sir! Aw, <laughs> oh, she packed us a lunch. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> You're not cold, are you? <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Now we gotta run back to the car and get the intergalactic prophylactic. What the? Whoa! Oh, did y'all did see that? I really don't remember seeing that when anybody else was playing. I really don't. Uh, hold up, hold up, no, hold, 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 hold. Did they do an up? Did they do an uh, an update where there was like a jump scare? Whoa. Okay. All right. We're good. <laughs> oh yeah. I love this mouse. It's it's that gaming. It's that uh, pro. What they call a pro gamer mouse. The one that like you know looks all Tron like, and changes color. It's really cool. Okay, so here we are. Yes, I have one left. Today is my lucky day. Cause I'm a wild and crazy guy. Okay, let me stop. <laughs> All right, now it's time for the foxes. <laughs> Hold on a second. Okay, am I having a signal problem because my live stream froze? Well, I kind of knew that was going to happen, but we're going to go ahead. Oh my god, he's having cinnaboobies. <laughs> Booby buns. I mean, they just chomped on those things like they were cinnabons, man. And no mocha lot of chill either. Well, I knew that was gonna happen. That one I wasn't afraid of. I pretty much saw that part where a lot of other people were playing. This game is really wonderful. They really captured the old school horror, the old school um, giallo horror. The colors, the neon colors, the music, the feel. Okay, what I'm gonna do? Let me let me um say hello. Let me uh check with my with with the viewers real real quick, and I'm gonna put yes. I knew that it was going to happen eventually. Period. I am recording this, and it will be uploaded on YouTube later. And let's uh do a little. Giallo history, just a little bit, okay? Giallo horror. Okay. Oh, yes, Dario, Arget uh, Dario Argento. I believe he was the one that directed Suspiria. Anybody remember that? Man, when I was a kid, that trailer for Suspiria was scary by itself. I mean, you, you were... <laughs> All you saw was a woman, the, the, like like behind a woman's head, uh, and she's brushing her hair, and she's singing, "Roses are red, violets are blue, the iris is a flower." If in the end of you, 
he turns around and there's a skull and <laughs> Suspiria. So <laughs> that was for you, Jordan. That was for you, Henry. That was for you, Ben. All right. Torture Star Video Puppet Combo and all of my Giallo Horror fans. That's right. Okay, so we're here. Walking around, chilling inside of a church. Inspect the casket. We shall inspect the casket. Oh, you, 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 you guys didn't think I was going to do some extra voiceover for it, did you? <laughs> it's a coffin. There's a plaque that reads, "Sister Mary, may God guide you home." All right, so here we go. Feel free to ask any questions that you want to ask in the comments below. I will be more than happy to answer them. And um, any questions that are in the comments, if I see them before I record the next section, I will definitely uh, read the question and answer them in the next episode because I'm not going to play this whole thing right now. I got a lot of things to do. Sounded a little Casey Kasemish there, right there. I'm not gonna play this entire game. I'm Casey Kasem. Oh, well, read the note. I know that was a hor horrible Casey Kasem voice. I do a better job, like when I'm relaxed. Most of this note is in a language I don't understand. But at the bottom is in English is written, confess to me, what the hell is going on here? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have fun here, man. Going to the confessional. Hey, listen, just because I watched a bunch of people play this game already does not make this thing any less scary, so... Whoa! Because sometimes you forget stuff like that happens. <laughs> Sister Mary, your transgressions have not been ignored. Bring a symbol of your repentance to me and confess your sins to be forgiven and be allowed to stay on these grounds. Yeah, that's old dude. Hi. <laughs> that's the guy that opened up the gates of hell. All right, so you notice that things have changed here. Let's see, there's supposed to be Something, hold on, uh, let's see, is there, hold on, oh yeah, okay, I remember now. Ah, crucifix, yes. And we're walking, and we're walking, walking with a crucifix in our hand. All right, is this what you want there, Captain? There you go. Yeah, crucifix or us. There's the key. Picking up the key. Thank you, dear sir. Here we go. We're walking and we're walking and we're walking and walking and walking, walking. Sidewalk. <laughs> Moonwalk. Front walk. A sidewalk. All right. Ah, this ominous stone hallway. Look at the color. I mean, the blues and the purples. 
Very, 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 very giallo style. Now, if you're not familiar with the term giallo, it's it's a it's an Italian, uh, it's it's Italian horror uh, done in an, in in a certain very very uh, gory, very very colorful, very very stylish sort of uh, sort of uh, atmosphere uh, styles. So, okay, here we go. Let's see if we can see what's behind this. Oh! I mean, you like I said, I know these things are gonna happen, just like in Blood Wash. I knew these things were gonna happen, but uh, it seemed to have happened almost overnight. We couldn't believe what we were seeing. Everyone thought it was some elaborate hoax, but we were wrong. <laughs> A lot of people thought that the game was over. Night at the Gates of Hell, developed by Jordan King and Henry Hore, presented by Torture Star Video, produced by Ben Kaguza, with music by Clement Panchett. Yours truly as David. Nathan Wilson, Princess Pow Pow, Devante Johnson, Light, Lightly Vox, Natalie, Ben, Paul, The Sphere Hunter. Death animations by, I forget the guy's name, but he did such a wonderful job. Sam Hodgetts. Boom, 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 boom. It's all good, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it would appear that my signal has dropped from uh, Facebook, but I already warned them pretty much ahead of time that if that does happen, if the signal does drop, um, it's all good. It's all good. Hey, Rouge. I know that the, uh, the game froze and everything, but uh, it's being recorded, so I'm just going to go ahead and go forward. So let's walk around. Flashlight. Press F to toggle a flashlight if you have one. Boom. Hey, it's my remote. I'm always asking Rouge where's the remote. <laughs> uh, definitely revolver bullets. <clears throat> I should have brought some water down here. Pick up knife. This knife will come in handy. I should do it in, in David's character, shouldn't I? Hold on. The bathroom. Now I'm gonna show you something really interesting. <clears throat> the love of my life. She belongs to the maggots now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A little impromptu thing there. Uh, in the original script, this is a little a little uh, trivia. In the original script, she was still alive, but barely hanging on. And I was supposed to, like, uh, I, my, my thing was, uh, uh, I was, you know, like, being vigil over her. And I was supposed to go and get some water. Like, the player was supposed to get some water and then come back. And then she died. This one's a little bit more gross and to the point. You can pretty much tell that, you know, uh, you know, the, the fact that I, that my character kept the body here, he's like, you know, PTSD, just really upset, really distraught. Okay, let's go over here, let's read the note. Keep an eye out for knives and ammo boxes. Ooh, good to know. All right, knives are located or, excuse me, knives are automatically used when needed. Don't get caught without them by surprise. Don't, don't get caught by them without one. Uh, I'm, that's bad. I'm reading stuff that's not there. All right, so here we go. 
I hope you have your headphones on. Whoa. Now let's pause for a second. This is our inventory. This is me. Look at that. <laughs> That's supposed to be my face. <laughs> I, I don't know. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe, I, I guess they got me right. I don't know. See, I got one knife, exactly two bullets, and uh, shotgun bullets right here. I don't, well, this is, well, I don't think the radio is really used, but, you know, for, for effect, I guess. All right, so this is the uh, all the uh, inventory boxes. I have nothing. So let's get going. I forgot the old man had some weird security system. I guess I could see the use now. I have to figure out how to turn the power on to override it. Pardon my language, y'all. <laughs> I'm just reading lines, come on. Of course. It's locked. The only people who I know would have the key would be the janitor in room 701 or the landlady in 702. Better start looking. I need that gun. See, a, a little extra, a little extra, a little special edition voiceover for you guys. <laughs> Hey, it's my old buddy, Void. <laughs> if you watch me play Blood Wash, you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. Void. 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 Whoa. Oh, man, the 3D sounds in this thing, man. Whoa. locked. Whoa. Whoa, dude. Oh, man, the noises in this thing. It's like... Oh, man. Okay, so we got to do something. We got to juke around this guy somehow. Because we need that gun. We need that gun seriously. All right. The more he moves on that side, let's stand over here and see if we can lure him over. Because I need to run past. I need to run past, homeboy. Oh. Caught me. Ah. All right. Well, at least we had the knife, right? Hey, I got an achievement, Knife Master. Cool. Yeah, buddy! See that? Oh. Okay, this is 701. C for crouch. That's how they usually do. Yo, the sounds in this piece. Woo! So here we go. Whoa! Damn. <laughs> Scared of the deed and out of my damn. <laughs> hey, what happened, boy? We got more bullets. Alright, so let's go over here. Duck. Okay. Whoa! Oh, okay, that scared the crap. Please, he's out of me. Okay. Okay, I hear you, brother. <laughs> All right, so let's go through here. Um, I forget how to do this. Wait a minute. Um, those more bullets. Lovely. Usually, when there's bullets around, 
that means uh, something really magnificent is about to happen. Okay. But I really should not have been taken out. Up. I really should have been able to go around that zombie. Nah, I don't need to go back there. Oh, the sounds in this thing. Okay, let's open the door. It's locked. Okay, we, we already looked at that one. Wait a second. Um, is there? There's. You know what? There's a key back there. I think. I think. All right. It's not there. It's not there. Oh, yeah, no. It, it. It. It's. It's in here. I think. Yes. Jeffrey, you won't believe it. Those people who we keep seeing going, seeing go into 704 must be part of some kind of a cult. I've been hearing chanting coming through the walls some nights. It really creeps me out. They talk about the gates of hell and it makes me worry for our two children. Imagine living with a mother who is crazy like that. This whole ordeal has me so on edge that I'm starting to see things. One night I woke up and I thought I... I saw someone in my closet. I know who isn't getting their lease renewed in January. Hilda. Okay, we got that. What's that? Okay. Oh, yeah, the key. Yeah, it's in here. Oh, wow. It took me so long to get it, man. I told you guys, I only really watched. I only really watched to see how people reacted to the game, you know. Oh, my God. Man, if y'all don't stop being in my ear with that root, that be love it. Big shout out to all the wonderful. Uh, voice actors uh, that were that were in the game. Uh, Catalina, uh, the horror cat. Want to say hi? Let's see now. Uh, da -da. Oh yeah, I gotta go over here. I think. <laughs> nope, nope, dumb numb skull. You gotta go back here. Okay, let's go. Come on. Okay, use the stairwell key. All right, so let's go in. Do I, put, do I use that? Okay, we're going to press the button. Whoa. Just stay right where you are, buddy. Stay right where you are. All right. Okay, so the door is opened and we can go inside now. Hey there, Sam. Hey, don't mind about getting myself a beer, do you? Uh, you look like you've seen better days. And cigarettes. And old newspaper. And old news. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! 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 What you looking at? What are you looking at? Yeah, gonna need that knife, man. Oh boy, I gotta need it. Yeah, what you looking at? Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, check out. <laughs> All right. Ooh, it's okay. What you look at? Who's that? All right. It's bolted shut. Okay, so let's uh go on ahead. Get in there. Okay, so we got that. 
what's what's that? Is that a, that's a note, right? I'll read the note. Whoever's reading this, please listen. You have to shoot them in the head. Nothing else will stop them. Don't find out the hard way. Press the Q key to holster or equip your gun. You cannot interact with things while your gun is equipped. Oh boy. Press the left mouse key to shoot and the right key to reload. And the, uh, the, the left mouse uh, and the R key to reload. Okay, got it. Hold the space to view ammo and knives. Hold the right, right mouse button to aim down the barrel of your equipped gun. Keep in mind that you cannot move while aiming. That, that's, that's one thing that a lot of people complain about. But hey, that, that adds to the challenge. Take the revolver. Okay. Okay. Now that I have some protection, I can turn the power back on and take the elevator down. I should be sure to keep my eyes peeled for any ammo that may be lying around. You never know. Okay. I have a feeling that we're about to see somebody special. That's me, y'all. <laughs> I can't believe this is me. <laughs> Creep up on you, man. The fear is real, y'all. Right, we gotta be careful, man. Any more bullets? Any more ammo? Oh boy. What do we got? Is that ammo? Or is that like, what? what is that, a box of chicken? <laughs> All right. Hold, let me check my, let me check my inventory. Oh, man, I got one knife. Good googa mooga. Okay. All right. All right, we got to keep our eyes peeled, man. All right, it's about to get real, y'all. Void! Void! <laughs> okay, so... Anybody else coming out to join the party? Alright, so now we gotta get ourselves out of here. Oh, that's right. I gotta turn it back on. I gotta turn the power back on. So that... <laughs> If, 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 yo, 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 get out my ear with that noise. <laughs> All right, y'all, here we go. Come on. Yo, dude left. So I'm gonna turn off the flashlight and. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta dequip. Uh oh. Okay, now to equip. All right. I think this is where things get really real. Good lord, this place is falling apart. I better be extra careful. All right, this is where they all start coming out, y'all. What in the entire... What do you mean, I didn't reload? Oh man, dag, I didn't reload, no wonder. All right. 
Oh boy. You know who that was, right? That was the creepy guy from uh, from Bloodwash. If you're if you're a fan of all the games, here we go. Pick up key. Requip done. I don't have any more knives. That means like if I if 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 a zombie get if a zombie gets a drop on me, I'm done. Alright, where am I at? That'll come in handy. All right, requip. Requip. Uh, do I really need to look at that 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 note? Do I really need to look at it? Ah, why not? Henry and Ned are doing so well lately. My two little angels are growing up because to be such to become such great men. They are learning our ways and are excited for what awaits them. They love keeping secrets. They'll do anything to protect their mommy. Oh boy. All right, that just sounds like a uh, a uh, uh, uh. that just sounds like some ish that's about to happen, dude. That's not opened. That's not gonna open until it was opened. So what do we do here? Can't go through there. Is there another door? No, I can't go through there. Okay, hold up. Can't go through there. Is there a key? Oh, that's right. I gotta unlock it. Use the crow key. All right. What do we do? To You know I ain't playing, right? Hold up. How many knives I got? One. Oh boy. <laughs> I just have no skills. Come on. Come on. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Come on. Is there a problem that I can't like? Okay, got it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, come on. Really? Bruh. All right, all right. So where was I? Okay. Oh, man. It took me all the way back here, man. Okay, killed them. At least they were at least they were nice about it. 
Oh, come on. Oh, boy. This is crazy, because this one here, hold up. I think we got a, I think we got a glitch. You know what, let me just get out of here. Is there any way to get out? How do I get out? Man, it, okay, so. Go out that way. Excuse me. Yeah, you're just dead, ain't you? All right, hold up. Let's see, how do I get out of here? Okay, that was a waste of ammo. Hold up. This wall looks weak. I saw a hammer around this building somewhere. Bet I could use it to break this wall away. Alright. Alright, you're obviously a glitch. Whoa! Oh, come on! Wow! As you can see, I have zero skills with this thing. As y'all can see, I am not doing well with this. Okay, so hold up. Okay, so we'll... Uh, um, use hammer? Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I like that. Okay, that wasn't smart at all. The portal to hell has been opened with the blood of the willing. If you would stop screaming in my ear, please. Joking. Now the dead will walk the earth and feast on the flesh of the living. Is there someone coming at me? I heard a noise. No, I heard a door open. I heard the door open. Hold up. 14 bullets, one knife. Pretty tight back here. Dude! Whoa! Oh! Ooh! Yeah. That was not in the script. <laughs> that was not in the script! Now check me out. Where did I get a bandage from? <laughs> yeah, no doubt. That, the whole eye thing, I did not even know it was, 
gosh. It wasn't in the script, y'all. <laughs> It's crazy it's like you gotta you gotta put the gun down in order for you to put the oh man well that's the challenge that's the challenge of the whole thing oh boy wow Just the way I like them, nice and far away. There we go. That's how you take out a zom. But when they approach, man, is it like eerie? And then trying to like aim and stuff, you know, so. Should I just avoid? Yeah. How do you like them apples? It still sucks that I gotta put the gun down in order for me to get the bullet. So, oh, stop crying. Oh. Whoa, my God. Whoa. It's locked. Sounds like someone is on the other side. Alright, well. Let's open this door. It's jammed. I won't be leaving this way. Like a crowbar. Maybe I could use this on the ceiling vent in the other room. Ceiling vent in the other room. Okay, ceiling vent in the other room. Yeah, but ceiling vent in the other room? Ah, okay. Cool beans. All right, this is, <laughs> I don't remember this part at all, guys. Hold up. Oh, great. They cut the power. How could they cut the power, man? They're animals. <laughs> Aliens. <laughs> Not sure I like that sound, but uh, I'll allow it. This looks like blood wash. Remember that part? <laughs> you know I don't trust you, right? All right, let's just roll. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, great, yeah, 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 you would turn the power back on, now wouldn't you? Whoa. Hi, guy. Hey, hey, not bad for a person that didn't really aim that straight. Okay. <laughs> okay, so how are we gonna get out of here? Wait a minute, is there a key? Uh, is there a way for me to get out? Unlock door. Oh, okay. Sweet. All right, so. All right, now what? Okay, so I gotta turn on the... Do I... Call the elevator. What the hell? It's not working. I bet the janitor has some schematics in his office. It's usually locked, but if I can 
find a key, then maybe I could get those papers and fix this piece of junk. All right, now we gotta find. You would, y'all would. I know where it is, hold up. I think I know where it is, hold up. Pull out the shoddy like John Gotti. Hold up. schematics I don't think it's in here it's somewhere else okay down up through how about here no keys there all right uh, let's see pick up the board place board used wooden board okay Da 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 My aiming skills are terrible, guys. My aiming skills are horrible. Do I have any more knives? No, I don't. Of course I don't. Schematics, schematics. Where would the schematics be? Schematics. Okay. I guess we'll just go in here. Oh. Well, of course he's gone. Unbelievable. I got 22 bullets and hardly use any of them because my aim sucks. Yeah, of course you're in there. Come on. Reload. Right. How many knives you got, buddy? Because you're going to need them. Aim is not always true. <laughs> really? All right, come on, let's reload. <laughs> uh, I, I'm having a blast, guys. <laughs> I really am. All right. Oh, oh, you guys and these mannequins.
Ah, oh, help you. Oh boy. Do I want to go in there? <laughs> All right, equip. Dequip. Well, who's got the sunshiny face? Who's got the sunshiny face? Let's make sure that we are equipped, y'all. What is, what the heck? All right, um, so. Read newspaper. It's a newspaper dated before everything happened. The headline reads, fourth disappearance in as many weeks strikes fear in the hearts of the city. Inspect the head. Ah, <laughs> there's a key, look at that. Now that I have the key to get to the schematics, I should turn the power back on. Otherwise, the elevator will be useless. Okay. Well, at least it tells you where you need to go. All right. Whoa! Oh, dude. I, I don't think, I don't think, if, if you did not have the knife at that point, I think it was just, uh, lost cause, y'all. Alright, how do I get out of here? Alright. The key to get to the schematic. Do wait a minute. Why do I get the feeling that there's more to be had here? Okay, just making sure. Because I have a feeling it's like, I feel like I've missed something. All right. All right, my dude, my homies, I think we're, I think we're out of here. Yeah, you. <laughs> Punk. So let's go turn on the power. All right, here we go. We're going to turn it on. Whoa! Oh, you got to be kidding me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Woo! I mean, they just came out and just was just like all like gang busted. I mean, hold up. Did I turn it on? I think I did. Hello? Nah. Whoa, they just came all out, man. Do I need the flashlight? No, nah, I don't think I need it anymore. Yeah, those are the cult guys. Okay, so... Yeah, now I gotta turn. I gotta turn on the uh, the elevator. Yes, sir. Gonna turn on the elevator. Whoa. Is there anything sneaking up behind me? I don't appreciate that. <laughs> Anybody stick it up behind me? I don't appreciate that. All right, so let's just arm up. Are we loaded? Okay, I reloaded.
Oh crap. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh crap. Punk. You too. Oh man. Dude just got disavowed. Yeah, that'll definitely come in handy. Alright, so from what I understand, this is the part where it gets really, 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 really difficult because uh let's just let's just roll. <laughs> Roll, come on. Juke him out, baby. Juking him. Come on, run. Well, it's a good thing I got knives. Oh crap! <laughs> uh, well, at least they're being nice about where you respawn. I tell you that. Whew. Watch, watch everybody say the the voice actor has no skills. <laughs> Let's, uh, come on, let's, let's bounce, let's bounce up out of here. His office should be behind that blue door. Now that I have a key, I should be able to, to get in and look for those schematics. Uh, 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 schematics. Let's get them schematics. Do we have a knife? Yes, we have two knives. Wonderful. Because I have a feeling. Whoa. Yeah, because I have a feeling, uh. Unlock the door. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you, bum. What, do you really think that I was just going to... Oh, come on. It just ran up on me, man. How many more knives I got? Uh-oh. Oh! Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, the knives just come in just wonderfully, right? Oh, crap. The, the knives are just so useful. All right. Okay, let's hit it. Is that the way to the elevator? No, it's the other way. Okay. Seriously, man, I mean, I could hear everybody. I could hear everybody talking about, oh, man, it, 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 the voice actor is horrible at this game. And you would be right. <laughs> but isn't that the fun thing, though? But isn't that the fun thing? I, you know, I knew that was there, but just like I said a billion times, just like in the other game, just like I said in Bloodwash, you know the jump scares are coming, but like they get you every time. You know, like oh, there's a jump scare here, but it's like almost like it never comes at the same time or moment. You know what I'm saying? All right. 
Can it be? Has she come back to me? I can't leave her now. I must go to her. I must go get her. See, that's bad. As, as, a, as a voice actor, you're not supposed to read things that are not there. Well, partially it's nervousness. Hold on. Is that... Is that a way for me to get around? Nah, there's no way for me to get around. So... Okay, so we gotta go this way? No. Uh, we gotta go... Hold on. I, I have a horrible sense of direction, guys. All right, hold on. All right, let's get in here. Do we need to go back there? Okay, hold on, let's get uh, down here. Was it here? Is it in here? My, what's, oh man. Is it that way? No, it's not that way. It's this way. No, it's not that way either. And that's blocked off. Okay, so. That door is open. That door is closed. Okay, went to that bathroom. Okay, so down. And let's see. Go in. Okay, go through here. All right, cool. Made it on the other side. Great. Uh, uh, Got to get through here. Got to get through there. Yeah, that one's... Do I have to go... Do I have to go up through there? I have to go up through the vent? Do I? Do I have to go up through the vent? side okay that's cool all right uh we're 701 right 701 701 705 701 702 no that's not it okay well. Where the heck am I? Where the heck am I? All right. Okay. All right, I remember now. Or do I? Do I remember? Hold on. Oh, come on, Harold. Oh, okay, here we are. Say Violet. What in the entire... Alright, let's go. Let's get out of here. Right. Is that where the elevator is? No, the elevator's over there. Yeah, the elevator's over there, okay. All right. Let's get through here. Let's get through there. Come on. Come on. You know dude has PTSD, right? What happened to fire dude? I thought that was a guy that was on fire that I was supposed to shoot. Yeah, Scooby Dooby Doo Doo, Scooby Doo Doo Doo, Scooby Dooby Doo, Scooby Dooby Doo Doo.
Okay, achievement unlocked. Leave home. <laughs> I need to get my head straight. Things are different now. Think. Think. Before the airwaves went out, it was advised to leave populated cities. There's a coastal town to the east. Perhaps others were able to fight these creatures off in open space. It's worth a try. There's no reason for me to stay here anymore. I know a lot of you are probably like act, uh, like maybe asking or wondering, uh, HB, how does it feel to hear your own voice come out of a video game? And I got to, it's surreal and it's an honor. Humbling. Very, very humbling. Alright. Help! Oh God, someone help us! It looks like there's some people hiding in that shack. Maybe they will know something I don't. And this is a part that a lot of people were having trouble on, so let me see if I can... See if I can uh, get the revolver bullets. All right, so people were taking the gun and they were aiming it. They were aiming it. Uh, they were trying to aim towards the head, like from behind. Let's see if that works. So Ah, I think maybe people. I think maybe people weren't close enough. Hold up. There we go. Yeah, the aiming is. Oh yeah. Excuse me, dude. You're in the way. All right. Hey, Stan. <laughs> Everybody loves Stan, man. Stan is like probably one of the most popular video game characters, probably since Mario, masterfully uh, played, uh, voice acted by Mr. Uh, Devante Johnson, I believe that's his name. What's up, Stan? What's going on? Hey, man. Thanks for bailing us out. I don't have a gun, but I'll try my best to be useful. I was here on vacation right before the sh <laughs> Just soaking up the sun one minute, then the next minute seeing some smelly <laughs> on my insides on the outside. <laughs> I found that mother and the creepy son over there. They were almost done for. Then us three stumbled upon this place with the captain and Skeeter. I don't know the city very well, but... But I know I heard what sounded like a shotgun coming from the dance school. Just take a left once you leave and follow the road. You'll see the build. A shotgun might be better than that old revolver you got there. All right. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to call it a night. Uh, I'm H.B. Gibson. Thank you so much for watching the first episode of Night at the Gates of Hell, played by yours truly, David. <laughs> Listen, God bless you all. Have a wonderful day or night, and I will see you in the next episode. And I couldn't think of a better way to spend your Halloween season than with me. See you next time. Bye-bye.